Okay, hello and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at, at our basic robots, uh, basic EV3 robot. And we're going to be taking our basic three EV3 robot and looking at how to go through a 3D maze. So I have the basic EV3 robot there with the ultrasonic sensor at the front uh, with the mechanical arm lifted up to not impede the ultrasonic sensor. Um, and then we have a 3D obstacle maze on our first Lego league table. So today what we're going to do is look at how we can use our ultrasonic sensor at the front to navigate through this maze by stopping and doing a series of turns and stops. So uh, we're going to drive for a lot of wait for blocks and we're going to take measurements of our, of our ultrasonic sensor at the front and stop before we reach the wall and then turn um, 90 degrees and then keep going. Okay, so we're going to jump back into the EV3 program. So I'm just going to switch my camera off back to the EV3 program. And we're going to start with a move steering block and we're going to drive forward unlimited. So we put the move steering block down um, from down in the green taskbar and we're just going to change these options here to be on. So just tap up the top here and just switch that to be on and we're not going to go too fast because the faster we go the longer it's going to take us to stop so we're going to leave it at about 50% then we're going to come over to our orange tab so we're going to drive on continuously and we're going to wait for so wait for is this little um, hour block glass down the bottom so we're going to wait for the ultrasonic so click and drag a wait for block up click and drag a wait for block up and we're going to wait for, at the moment we're waiting for time, that's what that little stopwatch is so we're just going to click up here and change our options and we're going to wait for, and this is where it gets a little bit tricky because we've got ultrasonic sensors on the educational edition, not these infrared sensors so if we scroll down in the list and from second from the bottom, just above time, we're just going to go ultrasonic then we're going to compare and distance in centimeters because we, we deal with centimeters so that was ultrasonic compare distance in centimeters and then we can click off that anywhere on the screen and you'll see there that it's changed the icon and you'll see centimeters there as well on that wait for brick now we should know our comparison operators which is the first option so where the number four is if you click on that we're not going to have to change any of this now but you can see where you can change your greater than less than equal to and you should have seen these in mathematics so at the moment we're on less than so we're going to drive forward continuously on that green block, that first green block, until we see something that's less than 50 and our units are in centimetres. Now 50 centimetres from my maze is a pretty big stopping distance. So I'm just going to scale that down to about 5, maybe 10 centimetres. 10 centimetres? So I'm saying less than 10 centimetres. And that, then what am I going to do? I'm going to stop. So that's going to be the first part of our maze. So if I go through, I'm just going to put another move steering block and instead of being on rotations at the moment, I'm just going to click on up here and just select it to be off. Okay. Now I'm already connected to my robot because I can see this down the bottom corner here. Um, I can see the name of my robot is called EV3P and I can also see the measurements on um, B and C. So if I go and move my robot a little bit, you'll see the values down the bottom there on the motors and stuff change. You'll also see down the bottom there on port 4, down the bottom here, um, on the bottom right hand court side, you'll see port 4 where the centimeters is. So I can actually push my robot up and get real live time data. I'm just moving my robot now towards the wall. And you'll see that at the moment there it's at 10.3 in that bottom corner. Now, 10.3 for me is actually pretty good pretty good, I'll switch to the camera so you guys can see um, 10.3 at the moment, if I move that back slightly it's about 13, 14 13 I might stop even at 13 I think so I'm going to change my program so instead of being 10 it can stop at maybe 13, let's say 15 okay, because it's never going to be exactly to 15 anyway, 
uh, do the stopping times. So I've got my robot there, it's saying 12.8 away. I can, 15 is a little bit further back, but it should be okay. What I'm gonna do is just move my robot back now to the starting position. It's just gonna go off camera for a second. And then I'm just gonna hit the play button, and what we should see is my robot move up and stop just before the wall. So I'm just gonna hit play. It's gonna download, and my robot, there is my robot. And it stopped which is good and it stopped at 13.5 centimeters away according to that sensor reading down the bottom okay if I go slower so if I move my robot back and I change my speed from 50 down to let's say let's halve at 25 and see if we get a more accurate reading than 13.5 so let's say 25 I can go here type in the value 25 instead of using the slider and now when I go and press play let's we'll see if I can get better than closer to 15 keep an eye on that bottom one or oh, 14.3 on that bottom oh, I didn't start exactly straight there that's why my robots a little bit off but see the bottom corner down the in port 4 I'm at 14.3 so at speed 50 I was at 13.5 at speed 25 I got a uh, more accurate reading at 14.3 and just for the sake of completeness let's go and change it to be a hundred percent and see how how accurate our reading is when we press play what should you find do you think it would be closer to 15 or do you think it would be a lot less than 15 all right let's go and hit run now play Ooh, 13.7, so it is pretty close. Uh, it was pretty close to our 50. That might be a lucky reading. Let's go and do that again. But notice how it doesn't stop directly on 15. There's always that margin for error. 13 that time. Okay, so yeah, we're, we're sitting pretty good. So now, all we need to do is navigate through our mate. So all this is going to be is a series of left and right turns. Um, as you can see, my first turn for on this maze would be a left-hand turn. Oh, sorry, a right-hand turn. So I can click and drag a move steering and then turn on the spot to the right. I need to turn 90 degrees. I'm just going to move my camera over. So I'm going to turn to the right on the spot. Uh, if I do one rotation, it's normally a full uh, 180 degrees so I'm just going to make that 0.5 and see how I go I could be wrong here it's been a while since I've done this and then I'm just going to hit play so I'm just going to move my robot back to the starting position come through hit play and we'll see what that looks like yeah and I'm pretty close okay so then it's just a matter of repeating the process again so then I'm just going to drive forward again and turn that on. So shift that option to be turning on. And we can go maybe 50. Um, and we're going to do a weight four block, similar to our other weight four block that we did before, and our ultrasonic sensor. So we need to scroll down, you remember? Because it's not the infrared, it's the ultrasonic. So I need to scroll down in this list. Uh, if I scroll down in the list, ultrasonic, compare, uh, distance in centimeters, and we're going to go for probably 15 again, to be safe. And then once it's driven forward unlimited, uh, until it sees something less than 15 centimeters away, I'm just going to go back over to the green tab and put another move steering block in, and this time I'm going to turn the motors off again. Okay, so that should navigate us through the first part of this maze, and I'll move the camera in a sec, just so we can get a bit, bit better of a bit better of a view. So let's go and hit play. I'll try to hold this camera very steady. There's my robot. It's turned, and it's through the first part of my maze. 
so that concludes the video for today video tutorial um, hopefully you like maze hunting and off you go cheers